play that at the beginning. <laughs> do that, seriously. Yep. Play that meeting. So we're sitting here in uh, the Paris Hotel in, in uh, Vegas, and this is David Schwinn, and I'm Sky King, and uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about how you came to be who you are today. Yeah, sure. So it's, we'll attempt to talk about uh, sounding like we know stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So so let's see. What, what do you what do you want to tell them about how I came to be? What well, I, you know, copywriting and, and you know, in the products that you have out, the products that you're coming out with too, working well, with you know top industry leaders, and being one yourself too, and you know how that came that, to be. That stuff's a lot easier than one than one would really think. If I had to do that all over again, that would be that would be very simple. What I'm going to do now, it's it's the um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say persistence or, or ongoing desire. I'd really say perseverance to, to to have consistency every day to not want to breathe until you get done what you want to get done, um, and just a willingness to to keep going when you feel like you know it's thundering and the sky is falling on you. And, and stuff's not working, and why isn't it working, and all this stuff. Um, stuff doesn't not work because it doesn't like you. <laughs> it, 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 your marketing doesn't know who you are. Uh, the things you implement don't know who you are. So it's just, um, that's really it. It's the perseverance of, of just following through and just having the will to keep going because there's always, um, there's always a big divot or a big calm before a big storm. And that'll always be before your, your big breakthrough. So whatever whatever the breakthrough means, means to you or me or whatever, whatever it means to you. So um, that's the idea. Okay, cool. And what, uh, what makes you passionate about what you do? Um, personally, never, never being able to perfect what I do. Yeah. yeah. It's always like reworking it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if I, was a, if, I, if I was a professional bowler, I, I, would, I would do it every day until I bowl to 300, and then, of course, I can't do any better than that. Yeah. So, I'm done. Awesome. Um, this yeah, might not be good for my future wife, so. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and um, I know you're taking a really big part in Copy, Copy Pro these days, and, uh -huh. and really, you know, putting out a lot of amazing um, copy, and you have your own product coming up too, watching that. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, again, for me personally, I, this isn't for everybody, but it's what I believe to be my biggest asset is copyright. Yeah. And it's, in marketing, it's it's the most valuable skill anybody can learn. Um, aside from marketing, internet marketing, whatever, um, it's worldwide, it's the highest paid skill in the world. Um, and do you do any... Um well, with it, product marketing and NLP, so have you done? Have you studied any of that? Yeah, very much. And I actually studied that before I got into copywriting, so that did, that did help facilitate my transition into uh, intuitively understanding yeah. how copy works. But um, but you know, I, I do it for for hire. I do it for systems. I mean, this is like way beyond what somebody needs to do or needs to learn just to make money in their home business or or whatever business they're 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 using it for or advertising for it's just some very basic fundamentals um, it's not hard to learn uh, and, you know anybody can do it it's writing was not a thing that I liked I love now I love it but uh, traditional traditional writing where teachers give you bad grades for spelling stuff wrong and not using nouns where you should and all this kind of stuff it didn't work I failed I failed three years of high school English I failed two years of college English um, I failed summer school English classes. Um, now you're copyrighted. Probably would help if I showed up. <laughs> Maybe I, I would have passed them if I showed up. But uh, but yeah, it's um, so it's it's a very cool skill, a very fun skill. But that's what I would recommend anybody coming into this industry because it's the bridge to understanding the whole marketing process. Mm -hmm. So everything else is very easy to understand when you get uh, even a small grasp on copywriting. That being in copywriting is because you're speaking to the emotional aspect of human beings. When you're doing the copy, is you're, you're kind of bringing them into the world that you want them it to is, engage into. It is a it's a silent connection and understanding. It's it's uh, it's like a bond between you and the reader, where these words are engineered and put on this page 
especially for them. It's like an intimacy. It's like yeah. It's like it's like think of it as like you're the chief guy on on the old Inspector Gadget thing, and your prospects Inspector Gadget. You want to make them feel like this message came out of thin air, instant teletype, and self destructs after they read it. So it's like they're like so special, and it's just it's just you and them. It's like. Um, and Stephen King does it very well in his, in his books. You know, I don't read many of his books. I have in the past. I've read a few just because uh, there are some good copywriting principles in there. You know, it's also storytelling, which, which isn't as relevant, but that's a great skill too. But uh, but yeah, he does have a very like um, like he's telling you that hey, when you pass this door, something's gonna jump out. You know, even though he's telling a story, he's really telling. You. So uh, that's the idea, yeah. Awesome. And do you have a new product being launched? Uh, I do. I'm, I'm working on. Under, you know, I'm working on a lot of stuff, and it's. Um, um, I probably wouldn't release a product on, on on consistency because that would be hypocritical. Because that seems to be one of the things uh, I still struggle with. Yeah. Uh, so I have a lot of stuff I've been working on. I get a little bit schizophrenic with some of it, but, but the next thing we're doing is um, a pay-per-click program with my friend Jimmy Hodge. Uh, high-end program, very in-depth, uh, and um, really, it's not even about how good you are on Google these days. It's, it's about it's about if you can even get on. Yeah. Uh, and you said so. that's going to be like an online it is and it's it's gonna be it's, yeah it's gonna be interactive uh, with us it's gonna be uh, three months um, it's gonna be very cool we, we came up with a very very uh, I think effective coaching program or, or method for people learning uh, I don't I don't think that if anybody if anybody takes it they could they literally could like not have some sort of success it's unless it is flat out don't do anything. It's, it's like that Take you by the hand, so um, so yeah, it's on pay per click, and that's just um, you know again I said it. Copywriting is what I side with is the most important thing, but uh, but when it comes to pay per click, it is it is a skill that you could acquire a lot faster. Copywriting takes years. Uh, pay per click you could acquire in weeks. And yeah, so. what would you say to somebody who's looking into learning more about copywriting? What would they? How would they go about that? Copywriting. Um, I would start with some fundamental books. Uh, I would start with reading reading sales letters, uh, just to kind of get the feel for them. Um, you should read some of mine. That way, you might end up buying my stuff on accident. <laughs> so study all of them. Um, and uh, I would say uh, Joe Sugarman has a really good book. Uh, some of the people I learned from are, are Joe Sugarman and uh, Mark Joyner. Um, some very old school people. Also, they were like back from the, 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 you know, the early 1900s, some of them even from, from the late 1800s. And so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, these days, as far as what's accessible online, uh, Claude Hopkins, I think it's scientific advertising, that's a good one. But you could, you could like Google that and get a free PDF, I believe, of that book. So they could find that. Um, but uh, yeah, Joe Vitale, Mark Joyner. Uh, Dan Kennedy's one. I'm not, you know, I haven't done a lot of following from the guy, but but uh, he is a big copywriting trainer. I think Yannick Silver has some copywriting stuff. So, yeah, what I would do is just Google copywriting. And um, uh, what sucks is I don't have a product yet, so I actually don't have something to sell you, which means I can't make any money. But but they can go to you. But they, they can. And then we have it coming up, then they get it. Right? Exactly. <laughs> 